Hello, my name is Todd Lamley, and I want to talk to you about the one day Zero Trust Fundamentals class exclusively at Training Camp. First, we need to understand what Zero Trust is, so you one might want to understand why you want to take this class, followed by the two day more advanced class. So, what is Zero Trust? It's a security model, it's nothing by itself, it's a strategy and framework. So it's a framework much like idle is for management. Never trust, always verify is our mantra. We're never gonna trust a single person. I don't care if they're on VPN. I don't care what kind of logins they have. We never trust them. Just understand this isn't a single technology and we have to build on top of that. And there are multiple, multiple vendors, Cisco and IBM, Deloitte and Touche and Cloudflare, which is my favorite. And we will do that in the advanced class. We'll use Cisco and Cloudflare. In this class, we're gonna use Cisco Zero Trust, which is very, very popular. Zero Trust, basic assumptions, the network is assumed to be hostile. External internal threats are always present. We're never thinking we're safe because now they've been pinned in and they're in my internal network. That, that was so 30 years ago. Network locality isn't sufficient for determining trust. So just because you're in a department and you're on that floor and you're physically all located together, which is pretty rare today, but nonetheless, even if that was the case, we don't trust you. We don't trust anything that you do on that local network, let alone getting out of that local network. Every single device, user, or network flow is authenticated, and we're going to authorize them with dynamic policies that change on the fly. So we had a traditional network parameter something like this a very simple picture but this was really much kind of what it was like we had an outside and inside and this was considered north south traffic for the last 30 something years 35 years so the fact is is that we built this parameter and people on the inside right the only thing that we did was secure outside to inside and maybe sometime inside to outside we could block them here if they were going to a particular dmz we didn't want to go to for example East-West traffic was for like, if we had server farms and data centers and things like that. Um, and so people connect there. We didn't need as high a security on East-West as we did on our North-South. But this is no longer valid. Why? Because we now have what's called Secure Access Service Edge, or we have cloud-based networking. And now you might say, we don't have any of that. Everything's on-prem for now. It will all eventually be in the cloud. Resistance is futile. I don't know what the time frame is, but that's our future. I think you know that. Now, what I've been working on the last 10 years or so was something called Next Generation Firewall, and this has worked pretty well. This really helped us do our north, south, east, west security and really granular. However, again, it didn't stop us if we were on the inside network from doing whatever we almost we wanted to do. So that's where Secure Access Service Edge comes in. This is a security as a service end to end from your network all the way cloud and back. And as the user, the customer or the user on the computer doesn't know anything, right? They're there. They think they're on a particular website. They're not. They're connected into the SaaS, which then connects into that website. So it's all done here in the cloud where it's secure. So if something executes in a code, for example, that's nefarious, it wouldn't execute on their computer. It's done in the cloud and isolated. So that's a real reason we want to do this. Now, this is real time context and security. Okay, and we'll get into this. Now, we need to understand that the gist of zero trust is networking security have to be part of the same architecture that's delivered from the cloud. And that's what zero trust gives us and our older security, I'm going to call it that, next generation firewall couldn't give us that. It couldn't give us from internally all the way to our cloud-based applications. So now we're going to have security from end to end, trusting nothing that's happening from beginning to end. So after completing this course, this fundamentals course, you'll be able to explain what zero trust is and what fundamental problems it solves. I kind of mentioned it, but we'll get into more detail about that. We're going to describe how corporate networks are implemented today and then how we can implement our SaaS security. We'll define how identity and access management are implemented. And then we're going to design a solution architecture and implement it with hands-on labs in this class. We're going to be using Cisco Zero Trust. Again, as we get into the more advanced course, that's two days after this. So hopefully this will become a three-day course and we'll be able to use Cisco and Cloudflare, which is way, way advanced and very, very easy to use. They have a very user-friendly interface dashboard. So we're going to describe how Zero Trust, describe Zero Trust and how it can be used 
to help customers. Now, I want you to contact your sales team right now and sign up. I can't wait to teach this class for you. You're really going to do it, really going to love it. And again, I'm going to give you hands-on experience through all these classes.